What's going on, everybody? Sports Snippets. Dennis Sullivan here late night on a Monday, the 12th of July, here to discuss Game 3 NBA Finals. Milwaukee Bucks pull through. They get a much-needed victory. 120 to 100 over the Phoenix Suns. Before I get started, want to talk about this game. Also want to go over a little bit of feedback and comments on the series in general. If you do like the content this particular video, go ahead, hit that thumbs up. That would be awesome, very awesome. And go ahead, subscribe to my channel too, Sports Snippets with Dennis Sullivan. Plenty of more to talk about on the way with this series, which I think is gonna go, I don't know about the distance, it might. I think, I think we got ourselves a series here, guys. So let's get started. The Milwaukee Bucks with a 20-point victory definitely outplayed the Phoenix Suns. But first and foremost, let's look at the big picture before I get rolling here on Giannis and all this stuff. The Phoenix Suns still definitely hold the upper hand in this series, not only with a two games to one lead, they still have home court. They have a lot going for them in this series. They looked amazing at home in those first two games. Shifts to Milwaukee, and then the Bucks. It's almost like we saw a little roll reversal with the Bucks hitting the off balance 20 footers and whatnot, and all these other things going on, and just playing almost over their heads. Like it's hard to say to, to label either one of these teams as playing over their heads. I mean, they are in the NBA Finals. But you just see the Bucks playing with that extra confidence that we saw the Suns play with in games one and two. That's a big part of it, guys. Also, what in terms of the big picture of game three, the Bucks will beat you. The, the two main areas in the postseason, a lot of these postseason wins for the Bucks is they'll beat you on the boards like they did to Phoenix in game three. 47 to 36, and they'll beat you in the battle of turnovers. I've said it once, I'll say it again. When this team's clicking and this team's ultra focused, they don't turn it over a lot, and they didn't in game three. Only nine turnovers versus 14 for Phoenix. So you combine those two factors you have an 11 rebound edge and a five turnover edge. And they shot sort of the same from the field in general, although from three, Phoenix was just under 39%. Uh, Milwaukee, make that, was around 39%. Phoenix, about 29%. So, I mean, the shooting was kind of, sort of, in the same ballpark. I mean, nothing too drastically different there. But rebounds, turnovers, that's that's Milwaukee for you. That's the one-two punch, plus the fear of the deer crowd outside. I think kind of gives them a little bit of an extra oomph during these games. I tell you, these might be like the two best crowds in the NBA. No joke. Phoenix is like definitely a fired-up crowd. Milwaukee is off the charts fired up for these games. And, of course, that whole fear the deer thing that they do outside with all these people. Like, uh, it looks like, I don't know how many, like a thousand? I mean, how many are out there? Are there more than a thousand? Is there, like, is someone keeping track of how many people are out there? <laughs> but it's pretty crazy. I mean, it, it's working for them. They got all kinds of hype now going into game four. That'll be on Wednesday at, uh, I believe that's a 9 p.m. Eastern start, Wednesday the 14th. Let's talk a little bit about game three and how the breakdown worked for the Bucks. And once again, a 20-point victory, 120 to 100. Giannis, absolutely unstoppable. 41 points, 13 rebounds, six assists, and a steal. If anyone in this series is not going to wear down, in my opinion, it's Giannis. He's showing absolutely no signs whatsoever of being worn down, tired out in the series. He's dominating, he's over 40 points last two games. I expect more of the same in game four. Maybe he'll get 35, something like that, you know. P.J. Tucker, not really as involved the offense still, you know, but he has his role. He plays good defense. He's a, you know, he's one of those guys. 
He's going to help you in different ways. He hustles out there. Seven points, three rebounds, two steals. Brooke Lopez, 11 points. Was a little quiet. He blocked a shot. Chris Middleton, nice overall game. 18, 7, and 6. A steal. One guy that's stepping up his play last few games big time. Again, plays big for the Bucks. Drew Holiday, 21 points, 5 rebounds, 9 assists, a steal, and a block. A guy who, in this video, I will say his name correctly, Pat... <laughs> you ready? Ready? Here we go. It's Pat Connaughton, is I believe how they say it on television, even though when I see it on a piece of paper or on my computer screen, I'm in the habit of saying Connaughton, but they, they don't say that on television, so I have to go with what they say on TV, which is Connaughton. Played well off the bench again for the Bucks. He's a big part of that team. Gets a lot of minutes off the bench for them. He's pretty much their sixth man these days. Eight points, three rebounds, four assists. Bobby Portis played well again. 11 points, eight rebounds, almost a double-double. Jeff Teague, two rebounds and assists, two steals. Bryn Forbes had a steal. Didn't play much, though. They pretty much went with the eight-man rotation. Uh, Giannis's brother, Thanasis, had three rebounds, and he only played, like, I don't know, like not even two minutes. And then they had a couple other guys that played, like, a minute and a half for the Bucks. Jay Crowder for the Suns. Suns struggled in this one, guys. 18 points, six rebounds, a block. Bridges, who's had a who's really good, good postseason, was quiet. Four points, two rebounds, two assists, a block. DeAndre Ayton, he's really good. Coming on strong in the playoffs. This guy's got a bright future. 18 and 9, two steals. Chris Paul, 19, 9 assists a steal. Devin Booker, very quiet for him. 10 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. Cameron Johnson, the guy that had the monster, the monster dunk. 14 and 5, he had a block. That dunk was insane. They had to review it, though, and they called the block. I don't know about that. Could have went either way. Thought, I think that was P.J. Tucker in there. I thought he had position, to be honest with you. I was a little surprised at that. Cameron Payne played pretty well for Phoenix. Seven points, four rebounds, four assists. Torrey Craig had two points and assist. Frank the Tank. Frank Kaminsky, six points, four rebounds, two assists. Tashawn Alexander scored two points off the bench for the Phoenix Suns. So guys, Phoenix Suns have never won an NBA championship. They're two games away from doing so. I don't know. I think going into game four, I think the Bucks are looking good for game four. Now, this is no guarantee that they're going to win or anything crazy like that. But I think the Bucks do have a good shot of evening up this series. We'll see what happens. I mean, the Suns are very well coached. They play with a ton of confidence, as they should. But with Milwaukee, I mean, it's just the veteran leadership on this team. This team is built to win now. They're not built to win in a year or two. Those days are over for Milwaukee. They've, they've gone through that already. So... This is a huge game for Milwaukee. If they could win this, well, then we really got ourselves a series. <laughs> but um, we'll see what happens, guys. I mean, they're not going to... I don't see the Suns solving Giannis at all. At all. If he's 100%, Giannis is going to run wild in this series. He's going to continue to run wild in this series. Um, I think Brooke Lopez kind of your wild card guy. When he when he does his 18 and 10 type games, look out. Uh, Middleton is still really good. He's probably their second best. He is their second best offensive player as far as creating points. But Drew Holiday's played really well. So, I mean, the Bucks really aren't looking that bad, guys. Ultimately, in this series, it's going to come down to they're going to have to get a win in Phoenix. But let's... We're, I'm jumping ahead in my own video. I didn't mean to do that, by the way. Jumping ahead. So the Bucks got to get game four. That's Wednesday night. Leave me some comments here below. Let me know what you think. It will be interesting. Look forward to watching that one. Wednesday night, the 14th. 
This is Dennis Sullivan, Sports Snippets, saying, I will see you, yes, you very soon. And we'll discuss more about the series. Bye for now.